Jake Ludington here, and chances are, if you've ever held your iPhone like this to shoot a video, you've ended up with a picture that's playing back sideways in Windows. Now, the solution to this is to rotate the image using video editing software, and I'm going to show you how to do that. To rotate your videos in Windows 7, I'm going to have you use a program called Pinnacle Studio. I have the Ultimate Edition installed, but this should also work with the various other editions that they have available. And the key thing that you need to know before you get started is Pinnacle Studio does not always recognize the iPhone uh, correctly in terms of using its uh, built-in import function up here to step one import. So I'm going to show you how to copy your files over directly from the iPhone. You need to open the phone with Windows Explorer. And as you can see, the phone has internal storage that you, you click on the internal storage. There's a DCIM folder, which is common to all um, digital cameras. In that folder, there's going to be a folder with a unique alphanumeric combination specific to your phone. And in that folder, then, uh, will be the video that you want to rotate. So find the video that you want. Um, in this case, um, I want this last video here that I shot with this phone. And I'm going to drag that into my videos folder because my videos folder is what Pinnacle Studio defaults to using for editing. It'll make it easier for me to find it when I want to bring it into my project and rotate it. Back in Pinnacle Studio, browsing through the videos folder, you can see in the videos folder up here in the left hand corner. Scroll down to the letter I. I have a lot of videos in here. And you can see my sideways video is right here, IMG0168. To convert your movie, the first thing you want to do is drag the video to the project timeline. There, now you can see uh, the aspect ratio is correct. After you add your video to the timeline, one of the first things that you want to do is trim off any portions of the video that you don't want. For instance, I'm going to trim the beginning of the video. Then I go to the end. So I don't need the beginning and the end of the clip. And then I've got this clip in the middle of me talking about this video, actually. So now that I've done that, I've got the footage that I want to rotate. The next step is to go to the toolbox and choose Add Video Effects. This brings up all the available special effects that are in Pinnacle Studio. And again, I have the Ultimate Edition which gives me several extra special effects that don't come with every edition, but this Studio HD RTFX is included with uh, all versions. And the first thing that you don't want to do is choose Rotate. When you add the Rotate effect, it defaults to half size left rotation, which as you can see over here, turns the picture upside down. That's not what we want. So we're going to switch to the other preset, which is half size right rotation and that turns it right side up. You can see that the image that I shot here with the iPhone, uh, there's a whole lot of headroom above my head, and so we're going to add another effect so that you're making better use of the full amount of the picture available on the screen. So after you've rotated the video, like I just showed you here, you're going to add a new effect, and then you're going to choose the pan and zoom feature. So we've added pan and zoom, but pan and zoom doesn't actually do anything until you make a few changes. So we're going to zoom in on the video. And that looks like you're going to be able to see as much of my head as possible in the shot and, and fill up the screen. There's still going to be these black bars on both sides of the finished video, but that looks like about as much as we can zoom in. Now we're going to adjust the vertical position up so that I fill the frame. I'm not cutting off my head in either direction. And that gives me about as much of the image in the frame as I can get. Uh, you could also move the horizontal position. So if you wanted to, say, uh, adjust me off to the right. And then we could add a title that will add like, some text here about what I'm talking about. Like I could put in how to rotate a video um, if I wanted to do that um, so that maybe there was something a little more visually appealing. I'm going to reset horizontal position back to zero because I don't want to do that for this particular video. So I'm going to go back to the center of the screen. But that's also an option. 
when you finished configuring the rotate and the pan and zoom effects, it's time to save out the finished project. For that, you go to number three, make movie in Pinnacle Studio. Choose the file type. In this case, I prefer MPEG-4 and HD 720p. Then click the create file button, name your video, and save it out. I suggest saving it in your videos folder so it's easy to find again. The finished file will be ready to play virtually anywhere. That was the solution to the problem if you did record a video holding your phone like this. Now, going forward, I highly recommend that you turn the iPhone on its side when you record because then you won't have to do those steps. The image will properly fill the screen of any HD TV or any computer monitor and you won't end up having to take extra time editing your video to get it to play correctly on your computer.